Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Earthrise Slitherfang. Z. <laughs> this decal set includes enough decals for three Slitherfang figures. So you've got one large decal sheet on vinyl backing and one smaller decal sheet on clear. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Slitherfang both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Slither Fang really doesn't have much as far as paint applications are concerned. He's got red eyes and that's about it. The snake head is dark gray. The body here is dark gray. The tail or tank treads are light gray. And then the whole back of the figure, of course the entire hood, is this translucent purple. Of course he does have some gray right there. So not a bad looking snake figure. I love the molded details, but really not much to go as far as paint applications are concerned. Now to take a look at Slither Fang in ramp mode, more of the same, all translucent purple with the gray stripes right here. And of course, his chest carries over into the dark gray here on the end. And of course, underneath, it's just the tank tread snake body. So there you go, guys. One final look at Slitherfang before and after. And thanks to Toy Hacks, we now have three Snakebot characters. Here in the green, we have Sidewinder, Slitherfang in the middle, and in the purple is Venomax. Now the decals for these bots are pretty much exactly the same, except for the color scheme. So let's go ahead and take a look at Slitherfang first. On top of the head, Slitherfang gets these gold hieroglyphic details, and I really like that. I think it's really cool. Inside the hood, he gets black and gold decals, and these can be a pain. I highly, highly recommend fine tip tweezers to get those in there. That, that took a while, but fortunately there's three sets. And by the third set, I was knocking them in, knocking them in there. No problem. And let's see, we got a scanner decal right there on the back of the figure down here on the tail, we get purple decals right there. And of course, these details here, you see on the back of the hood, also carry over into ramp mode. Now, right here, you do have an option. You could either do the Decepticon logo like I did, or there is a plain diamond logo, and for the other two, a dark gray diamond logo. And I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and make these guys Decepticons. So right here, there is the back of Slitherfang. Here is the back of Sidewinder, and here is the back of Venomax. And as you can see, Slitherfang has a lot more detail. He's got the little details along the hood where these guys, it's pretty much just a dark gray. Everything else is the same. You see the purple decals down here. Now there are a lot of decals that cover up a lot of the translucent plastic as well. As you can see all the way over the back of the figure. And I think that looks really, really good. Now to give you an idea what they look like in ramp mode, go ahead and quickly transform Slitherfang here. And there he is as a ramp. Looks a lot better than what it was before. Now, of course, you can take all these bots, transform them into ramp mode, and then combine them into a giant king snake, if you will. Let's see, let's use... Slitherfang is the main body or the head, and then we'll attach Venomax. Let's see. And 
Sidewinder. Let's see, leave the tail out here. And there we have the King Snake. Side. That's cool. I do like that. I wish the little tread section connected a little better, but there's a pretty cool option. I dig it. That's that's cool. I just wish he would stand up. Well, there you go. Now, I recently got in a weapon accessory set for Slitherfang, thanks to my good buddy Firetox. I've got a long segmented tail, a chainsaw accessory, a blaster accessory, a mace accessory, and these fang blasters. And how these work, you just take, so he's got a hole right there under the chin. You attach that like so, kind of gives Slitherfang a mouth, and then you can actually attach blast effects. I like using these little green ones, so it makes it look like he's shooting venom. So, he's got that going on, which looks really cool. Now, for the tail accessory, you attach Slitherfang's tail here to the accessory like so. It's a nice tight fit. So now he has a tail. Get those blast effects off. And what's cool about this, the other accessories can attach here at the end. So let's do the mace first. That pops right into place. So now we've got that look going on. You have the where'd it go? The chainsaw. I really like that. That's awesome. <laughs> That looks so cool. Lots of details on these two. Firetox does a great job. And lastly, we have this blaster tailpiece that can also be used with a blast effect. So I dig that. That is an awesome set if you have a Slitherfang figure. Now, if you happen to have a 3D printer of your own, these accessories are free to download and print. If you don't have a 3D printer, I'm going to put Firetox's information in the description of this video, and you can hit him up. <laughs> Toy Hacks once again knocks it out of the park, enhancing some otherwise very plain looking figures. I also like how they added different collars to create different characters. And I don't think I showed this off earlier, but Sidewinder and Venomax here, they do have the de collar decals up there on the head and corresponding decals inside the hood. So I love that. Not to mention the ramp modes look so much better. And big shout out to Fire Tox for that weapon set. That really enhances the figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!